here we go. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Morgan and welcome back to my channel. So, recently I took yet another trip to Japan, one of the most fabulous countries I have ever been so privileged to experience. I can't even tell you guys how much I enjoyed that trip. It is unreal. If by any chance you ever have a chance to take a trip to Japan, please take advantage of that. <laughs> Do it, <laughs> I'm serious. So, in today's video, we are going to be reviewing different art supplies that I have picked up while I was in Japan. See, some of these fancier pens I picked up in, you know, different tourist locations, such as this one, came from the Tokyo Sky Tree. But other packages, such as these two, and this one, came from a 100 yen store. And if you're not familiar with the type of conversions between yen and dollars, or something like that, um, about 100 yen is similar to a dollar, it's not quite the perfect conversion, but for this purpose we're gonna say it's a dollar store! Yay! <laughs> so I'm actually really excited to try these out because for some reason, I mean it's not hard to guess, but I absolutely love pens. And I just like the way they, I like the way different pens feel, I like the way they look, I like the way they write, I have no idea. But apparently I have a pen problem because I have so many pens. I took them from the hotels, I apparently took them from other places as well, and on top of buying them. So, I got a lot of pens to show you guys, and I don't know, I just want to show you the way that things work in other countries, you know? Because, like I said, these were all picked up in either tourist locations or just simple stores around the streets. I visited Tokyo, Kyoto, Osaka, and Hakone. And honestly, they can't tell you where these came from. <laughs> these ones came from a dollar store that I believe was in Tokyo. Yeah, Tokyo. <laughs> and I think these two pens came from the hotel in Osaka? Possibly? We'll find out! <laughs> okay, so I think we're gonna start with these. These are simple ballpoint pens and they say, Natural! Simple goods! Wheat! You know, the essentials. So, we're just gonna apparently not open them. Hold on. Scissors. That did nothing. Oh no, I'm stupid. Okay. Easy peel. I cut that for nothing. I'm sorry, natural simple goods. I'm very sorry. Alright, well, we only need one of these pens to test them out. But in case I ever lose it or it dies, I have four backups. So that's just wonderful. Ooh, see? This is actually a really strong click. That's kind of hard to describe. You know how usually when you like click pens, it's just a very simple push? Like this required more effort than I expected, which is kind of weird. And to unclick it, you just press this little thing. Yep. Here we go. This is our dollar store pen, which since I got five of them for 100 yen, this pen was only 20 yen. <laughs> so this was the, I'm just gonna call it the Simple Goods brand, because it did say natural simple goods, but you know. Okay. Oh, it's not ready yet. Oh, okay. So this is a very, very thin pen. Uh, it's a little scratchy, but I kind of like it. It would be very good for writing small or maybe taking notes on index cards. Just something... I forgot the S. <laughs> I can't talk and write at the same time, apparently. But this is a black pen. It does get pretty dark if you go over the area a bunch of times. But it's your standard pen. Like I said, quite thin. It's a little rough on the surface, so that might just be because my desk is made of wood. But, a little scratchy. Overall, nice pen. Let's see how the others compare. The next one we have, I am not gonna cut this time because I see another easy peel. But these are two more pens that say Neon Color Gel Ink Roller Ball, even though that looks like it says Gel Ink. It's supposed to say Gel Ink, it's okay. And these are 0.8 millimeters. And I'm really excited to see how the yellow pen comes out, because these are not black ink pens, this is actually a pink and a yellow pen. And I, I actually don't think I've ever seen a yellow pen before, unless it was a gel pen. So yeah. Easy peel. Look how easy that is. Don't be dumb like me, and take scissors to everything. <laughs> okay, so they do come with this little piece of plastic that kind of holds them together. Just slide that right out. And I think I'm going to test the pink one out first. Next we have... Oh my goodness, that is very neon. Oh, 
That's pretty cool. Focus. Is my lens dirty? Is that what's happening? Are you dirty? Okay, for some reason I had to stop the entire camera for it to be able to focus itself again. It was trying really hard. Okay, so this neon color comes out pretty smooth. It's actually like a bit more wet than the other one was because like I said, this is a gel pen. So it's a little shinier and the tip is quite larger than the other one. The other one was very thin. I really like this color. That's pretty neat. Yeah, so... There you go. And now we're going to move on to the yellow one, which I hope acts the same way because that one felt pretty good. Oh my God. This is crazy neon. And it's very thin too, just like the other one. That's nuts. I'm writing with a highlighter, but it's in a pen. I do have this pack of erasers that I bought. And there are four, oh, I lied, there's five, I cannot count. There's five erasers in here. Again, this is only for like 100 yen. So 20 yen an eraser, thank you. <laughs> Another easy peel. See, this is just lovely. Now I really wanna try out one of these erasers, but I only bought one pencil. Boo, yeah, I know, okay. I did buy one pencil and I actually didn't expect it to be a pencil. I thought this was a pen when I bought it, but I am not upset in any way because this, just wait until I show you. This, this pencil is probably my favorite. I love it. <laughs> so grand reveal, this is the pencil that I bought. It's a mechanical pencil and to make the lead come out, all you do is tap the top just like a usual pencil. And now some of you might be saying, oh my God, that's so cute. And other people might be saying, what is that? <laughs> The thing on top, this is called takoyaki. It is a dish made in Japan that is quite traditional and you can find it in many different places. It was available in all the cities that I visited and I probably ate it about four or five times. I love it. I love it so much. Takoyaki is like a small circular dumpling that has octopus on the inside. It is like a soft dumpling. It's like fried on the outside so it's a tiny bit crispy, just the teeniest bit. It's nice and golden brown just like this. But on the inside, it's nice and soft, and it has the octopus piece on the inside. And then the top, they put on some Japanese barbecue sauce, some green onions, usually. That's what these little green flecks are. And if you look closely, there are little, oh, there should be at least, little bonito flakes, which are little fish flakes that go on top. And sometimes, as well as the barbecue sauce, they add over top mayonnaise. I can't even tell you how many times I ate this. It was so good. We even ate it in the airport on the way home, and it was amazing in the airport. Tell me how that makes sense. Okay, moving on. Now that I'm done talking about takoyaki, even though I could talk about takoyaki for a very long time, we are gonna test out this pencil. I'm just gonna write the word takoyaki at first. It just feels like your regular pencil. It feels like an HB pencil. It's nice and thin, good for details. And there is no eraser on this pencil, so good thing I bought some. I'm gonna make one area really dark and we're gonna see how good the eraser does at picking up the, the graphite and I'm gonna make another area nice and light and see if it completely eradicates the graphite. Because that's what we hope. Moving in with my purple eraser, even though it's upside down. Simple and easy to use. Well, I would really hope so because if it's difficult to use an eraser, I don't know what to do, man. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start with the darker part. Let's just make sure I can hold this paper down. It might be difficult for you to see, but it is picking up the top layer of graphite. But unfortunately, since I pressed quite hard down, it is not able to pick up the rest of it. It is coming off in little shavings, just like I'd expect, you know, it's an eraser. And the corner of the eraser got quite dirty, but it doesn't seem to pick up the rest of it. There is quite an obvious smear here. First impressions, it kind of, I don't know. It feels like a mediocre eraser. <laughs> That's about all I can say. That was my neck cracking. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna just start praying that it actually works on the lighter area because if it doesn't work on the lighter area, I don't know what to do with the five of these erasers. Look at them, maybe. 
Okay, so just as I expected, it is coming up. Press a little harder, because I still see some remnants of it. Sorry about the camera shaking, I had to put some pressure onto that. So, final review of this eraser? Meh. I mean, I'd use it if it was next to me, but I'm not gonna buy it again. Okay, now we, um, yeah, you can ignore that marker there. I'm an artist. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now we're gonna be moving on to the individual pens. Each one of these is a pen, I don't have another pencil. Some of them do have multiple colors, so they can be tested out in more than one way. But they're all pretty unique, and I'm excited to see how they all come out. So let's get to it. The first pen I have is hopefully recognizable to most of you guys. This is a very popular Japanese character that did make its way into America and can be found at a surprising amount of stores now. And it actually makes me quite happy because me and my older sister found out about this little egg dude way before I saw it in American stores. And it just made me so happy to see that it made its way all the way over here. So this little egg character, yes, he's an egg. He looks kind of weird. My mom thinks he's a naked chicken, but he's an egg. His name is Guretama. And he's featured in an animated short that has multiple episodes. They're all quite short, but they're all hilarious and they make little to no sense. The Lazy Egg. So, this pen does feature two different colors. It has a black side and a red side. I did buy this pen three years ago when I went to Japan the first time. And I brought it to my high school and I'm pretty sure I lost this pen within the first week of school. It was completely my fault because I let somebody borrow it. It was the only pen I had out and he was like, can I please use your pen? And he was pointing to this one. So I was trying not to be a jerk because it was the beginning of the year and I let him use it. And of course, I never got it back. So I went out and bought it again. <laughs> the first side we'll be testing out is the black side. If I remember correctly, this pen is kind of thin, but I did really like the way I wrote because I remember taking a lot of notes with it. We shouldn't call this good, the Gudetama pen. I have no idea what that was. Okay, continuing on as if that never happened. My memory is quite correct at the moment. This is another thin pen. And it does seem a little scratchy. If you can tell, it's not really coming out. Sometimes when I twist it a certain way, like right here in that loop, it's a little lighter than the rest of the loop. But maybe that's just because I haven't broken it in yet. Who knows? It could just, it could just need some warming up. It's very thin. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but sometimes I think that the thicker pens seem to flow a lot smoother. Maybe it's just me. We have pretty much the same thing going on with the red. This one seems to be doing the same thing where some areas are coming out lighter than others, which is why I keep making all these weird squiggles, but. <laughs> and yeah, it feels like a pen. <laughs> Next we have our big fat Tokyo Skytree pen featuring their adorable little character. I have been to the Tokyo Sky Tree twice now. It was listed on the itinerary for both of my trips. In case it sounds a little confusing, my sister and I went on an educational tour trip. It was a big group of people that were mostly our age, and we had a lot of fun because there was an, a set itinerary for every day, so there was very little downtime, and we had a lot on our plates. But honestly, it was one of the best ways to experience it, so I had a great time. So, with this Tokyo Sky Tree pen, it is a twist pen. There we go. It is quite thick, if that's not already obvious. But I have never used it before. So let's see how it goes. We're just gonna write Tokyo Sky Tree. Oh, I like the way this one feels. It's a lot smoother than the first one that I did. Yes, it's a little thicker, not that much. It just feels probably about your average width. The first pen felt a little thinner than your average pen, but this one feels quite average. Nice quality ink. It doesn't seem to be doing what the other pens were doing, where less ink comes out in a certain area. Everything seems to be depositing normally. 
And oh yeah, I like this pen. It's nice and smooth. It flows pretty nice. I could probably doodle with it all day. But it is definitely one of the best looking pens. It was probably the most expensive one, but I really wanted it because I love this little character. Oh my god! Okay. So the next pen is this Music Note Silver Cat Pen. Now this pen I did buy in my final hotel, which I do believe was in Osaka. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. <laughs> This pen was also on the expensive side, but I they had many different variations of this pen, and I absolutely loved the way that silver cat looked. And you know me, I like pens too much, so I bought another one. This is a twist pen. Let's see how it goes. Okay, first impressions are quite nice. This is a very smooth pen, even more smooth than Tokyo Skytree pen. It's not scratchy at all. It's very, very smooth, and I'm enjoying it, actually. It's similar to the other one. It's quite an average width, which that's perfectly fine. I mean, I want a normal pen. And it seems to be performing quite adequately. So yeah, definitely giving a good grade on this one. The next pens I have actually look like a set of two, but they're not. I bought them separately. I just couldn't only buy one. I mean, that seemed wrong. So, as you can see, these are the Tokyo 2020 Olympics pens. These two characters that are featured on top are the two characters that Tokyo created for this event, and it is all sponsoring the 2020 Olympics, which will be hosted in Tokyo! Starting off with the blue pen of this male character, there are three different settings. There's a black, a blue, and a red. And let's start it out. Okay, this pen feels pretty thin. It's decently scratchy. I'm gonna write Tokyo 2020. If you can see that, it's quite thin, but like I said, thin pens are good sometimes because you can take very small notes, you can write small, you can get some nice detailing. But personally, I think I prefer a thicker pen because like I said, they usually come out a lot less scratchy. Alright, I'm not going to spend too much time on the black ink because we got two more colors to go. Next we have the blue. That's a nice color. It doesn't seem to be as dark as most of my other blue pens, but I think that makes it unique, so I like it. It's just the same as the other one, pretty the other color, I mean. It's pretty scratchy, very thin, but it gets the job done. I mean, you're watching me use it. <laughs> Finally, with red, expecting the same thing. Receiving the same thing. Yeah. Yep, exactly the same as the other ones. And I like making figure eights, I think. <laughs> Next up, we have a labeled pen. Look at that. It says Hotel Sobial. Yeah, see, I'm not quite sure which city I bought. I, no, I didn't buy this. I don't think I definitely took it. I'm not quite sure which city I got this from, but one of my hotels. I'm assuming it was one of the earlier ones because I remember which pens came from the later one. Hmm. Oh, would you look at this? Okay, so I know I keep saying that a lot of these pens are thin, and they are. As you can tell, this one is kind of thin too, but it is nowhere near as scratchy as the other ones were. I'm actually really enjoying this pen. It's thin, so good for detailing and everything like that, but it seems to be depositing the ink evenly. And it is so much smoother. That's not legible, but it's okay. Next up, similar to our Guretama pen, we have, I think this is the same brand because it's the same shape. Uh, we have a Pikachu pen. Who doesn't like Pikachu? If you don't, you had a sad childhood. Moving on. We have red and black ink once again. Let's start with some black ink. Wow, he looks funny without one ear. His ear is now coming out of the side of his body. Okay. Just like the others, quite thin. It behaves very similarly to the Guretama pen, so I'm just gonna assume that it's the same brand. I really think so. I'm pretty sure I bought them in the same place. You know what? I did, because I bought both of these pens in a ginormous Don Quixote. I've been to that Don Quixote before. It used to be like 
eight or nine floors. I do believe this is the one in Akihabara. I'm not certain, but I'm pretty sure. It used to be like eight or nine floors and when I when I went three years ago, but since I came back this July, it, I think it was only like five floors. They still had the same building and there was still eight floors in the building, but the upstairs rooms were just not, they weren't part of Don Quixote. They had all these big signs up that said like, registers downstairs, don't take your items up to the next floor. They had it on like printed on like all the stairs. So it was definitely, it was still a good store. It's a fantastic store for tourists. It has all kinds of stuff. Seriously, all kinds of stuff. Like I can't even begin. I bought stuffed animals. I bought pens. I saw like hair care, beauty, beauty products. There was technology. There were suitcases, onesies, pajamas, clothes. It was seriously everything. And there was, there was like candy and hard candy on the first floor, little snacks, like seriously, you're bored? Go to a Don Quixote. You won't be bored. So back to this pen review. Like I said, it's pretty much behaving the same way as the Good Tema pen. It is another thinner pen that is scratchier than the last one that I just reviewed, but not unbearable. This one does seem to deposit the ink pretty good. I don't have any problems, no complaints. Like I said, just thin, but that seems to be a reoccurring thing, so I'm not gonna complain. <coughs> Moving on, we do have another pen double going on. We have a black pen and a white pen, both coming from the same hotel. They both are click pens, and to get the to get the points back in, you just press down, and they go right back up. So we're gonna start out with the white pen, even though I'm pretty sure they're gonna behave the same way. This pen says Tamsi? Tamo? Is that a no? Tamosi? Can you see that? What do you think that says? I'm just gonna write T. Okay, so yeah, we have another thin pen. This one is unfortunately quite scratchy again. It's not. It's giving a little bit of resistance as I'm trying to use it, which isn't the best, but it writes. It performs fine. I'm gonna do the black pen right next to it because like I said, I'm assuming the same thing, which is exactly what I am experiencing. These are pretty much duplicate pens, just different outside containers. Okay, so next we have this blue colored pen. I'm not quite sure if the pen is actually blue. I'm assuming it's black, but we're gonna find out. I have zero memory of getting this pen, which means I definitely just picked it up somewhere because I think I'm a pen thief. Oh man. But we're just gonna call this blue, even though it writes in black. Another thin pen, not too bad. I'm not experiencing too much scratchiness, but it's definitely not super smooth. I didn't use it. It was like, oh, it's so smooth. It just feels like a freaking pen. <laughs> pen. Okay, so the next pen we have is a pretty crappy pen. I remember exactly where I got this one from. We went to a fish cake museum to watch the process of how the fish cakes are made in Japan. It is quite a weird process. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I would actually recommend checking that out because it was kind of strange, but cool to experience. Uh, unfortunately, that means that I 100% stole this pen. I'm very sorry. It doesn't seem to be that nice anyway, so I really hope they're not missing it too much. So we're gonna call this the fish cake pen. Cause that seems appropriate. Oh, this is not bad. It's a, it's still thin like the other ones are, but it's smoother for sure. And it, it kind of seems to move a little when I touch the paper. The tip of the pen is giving a little, a little tiny motion. It's moving just a little bit, but I can feel it. <laughs> okay, this pen is an interesting shape. It is a twistable pen, right? No? No, it's not a twistable pen. It's just always open. Yeah, that's how this goes. This one does have some writing on it. This came from my very first hotel, which was in Tokyo. I can't see, there we go. Focus, cool. These characters say Day to Nice Hotel Tokyo, which means Day Nice Hotel Tokyo. Right? <laughs> 
It was the first hotel we went to. It was a very nice hotel, and this was the first pen of my journey. Let's see how it compares. I like this pen. A lot smoother. I really am seeing so many thin pens. Maybe I just buy thick ones for my schoolwork, but all of these pens feel considerably thinner to me. This one is nice and smooth, which is fantastic. But no other striking details about it. It's a nice quality pen, it's a very funny shape, and it has a little story to it. Yay! Okay, moving on to our last pen. I'm actually kind of excited for this one. <laughs> I also know where this pen came from. And this is probably my biggest jerk moment. Because this pen, it is blatantly obvious that I stole it. <laughs> I know where it came from, too. It came from the Sky Tree. It was... Within the Sky Tree, you can have, like, a little, like, a booklet that they give you. And if you, like, collect the stamps that are kind of found throughout the, the building... I don't know, maybe you get a little prize, maybe you just get satisfaction, I'm not sure. But you can collect the stamps, they have very interesting and intricate stamps. There was like Hello Kitty stamps, and there was one for the Sky Tree character, like there were all kinds of cute stamps. And one of them had a little table that had the stamp thing, and a pen in, there was like, I think it was like three pens, in a little container. So yeah, I took one, apparently. <laughs> I feel bad now. I'm guessing this is a red pen. And if you're wondering what this says, it says Teburu, which just means table. So this is labeled as the table pen, and I took it. Jeez! <laughs> this one might be the thinnest of them all. Table. Table pen. So, let me know in the comments how you felt about these art supplies. Let me know if there's any that you'd be interested to try out or you think is a cool idea. I'm really liking this yellow pen. I don't know. It came out really striking. Kind of, It kind of resonated with me a little. I, I love all these pens because they all symbolize the memories from my fantastic trip. I really couldn't have asked for anything better. Seriously, if you ever have the opportunity, please visit this country. I promise you will not regret it. It is an extremely nice country. There are very nice people that are always willing to help you out. And most of them do know a tiny bit of English. So if for some reason you really need help, you can usually reach out. They are lovely people. It's a fantastic country. It's extremely clean too. The streets are so clean. It's like Tokyo City is nothing like New York City. Tokyo is beautiful and clean. I mean, there are a ton of people there, but they're very clean and very polite. I did not have any bad experiences whatsoever with anybody in particular or any certain place. I really had a great time everywhere. So, enough about me rambling about Japan. Kind of sorry, kind of not sorry. But, yeah. Let me know how you feel about these art supplies. Let me know if you would want to see any of them again in a future video. Or maybe I should challenge myself to only use these scratchy pens. <laughs> well, let me know how you thought about this video. I'll be reading all the comments. And just real quick, I don't want to take too long on this because it, it, I could probably talk forever. But I, I'm, I'm really sorry about that hiatus that I took. It wasn't intentional. I ended up slipping into a very deep hole and we're gonna leave it there because that's enough but i'm here again i seriously i've never left i've been reading your comments i've been checking up on my channel and every time i do i just have this big smile on my face there's no way i could forget about you guys you're a part of my life now and i'm ready to take this journey with you so stick around we'll have a good time <laughs> thank you all so much for watching and if you like what you see hit that subscribe button because I'll be back for more as soon as possible. Now that I have my desk all cleaned up and everything, I bought a whole bunch of new art supplies that I'm super excited to show you guys, and I can't wait to see where we go in the future. This pen's running away from me. It's okay. But, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time.